Hey there guys, what's up? How is the mood? And welcome to the game of the day. Today we have a Serbian league game between Ivanovic Marcos White against Grandmaster Ivic Velimir. Few words about Ivic, I have seen him during a lot of over the board tournaments and while walking and watching at his games I was always seeing something interesting, complicated, he is a very aggressive style player and that's what we are going to see today, a very much must know pattern which can occur from different positions and help you to crush your opponents. Let's get started, Ivic is playing as black, e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, Pawn d4, e d4 and bishop c4. This is a theoretical variation, but our goal is not to dive very deep into the theory. So let me just show you the game. Knight f6, pawn e5, now the knight is hanging, so going knight to e4. This knight is not being trapped, there are some retreat options against different moves. Let's say queen to e2, knight c5, short castle, knight e6. Black is defending this pawn, but black is very much behind in the development. So this is the compensation logic of white. Here white is playing c3, and now if black is taking, knight takes c3 was getting very much ahead in the development, more pieces, activity, so black decided not to go for this. Here Ivish played, after pawn c3 move, he went d5. It's a very logical move, attacking on the bishop, bringing pawn to the center. Now if white goes back, they lose a the tempo. Or if white takes, bishop takes d6, the piece is developed from the initial square to d6, which is a very good result. Pawn takes d4, and again, now black cannot take because uh, there is a pin on the e-file, so black has to castle. Right now, the d5 move, which looks like winning a piece, doesn't work because black can exchange a piece with knight d4, attacking queen and the knight on the same time. That's why. After a castle, white went for bishop e3, looks like everything is fine, white is trying to develop, and Ivich is seeing opportunity to go closer to opponent's king. Knight f4, a nice tempo. Now white, if capturing on f4, is losing a bishop pair advantage. That was probably the best practical decision, cause after queen d2, this knight on f4 could be a very annoying piece about this king. There is a rule about the attack, when you try to make a pressure on opponent's king, you need more pieces. That rule while ruling in our attacking courses, and queen f6 is split, queen is the strongest attacking piece. Now white is not suspecting a danger and plays knight c3, seems very natural. Maybe white calculated that here if they get knight h3 check, they cannot take, because queen f3 is very bad, the king structure is destroyed. But after knight h3 check, they can go, let's say, king to h1. All is fine now, and this knight will be under attack. However, after knight c3, black has an amazing resource, out of a sudden taking this king to a big trouble. Pause the video, try to figure it out. And if you saw it, now you might be inspired, because knight g2 sounds really great. Yes, we take the important pawn. If white is not accepting this sacrifice, we are super happy. The best defender of the king is gone. And now, if white king is capturing, this king suddenly gets under a big trouble. Bishop h3 check. This is the pattern. Capturing on g2 and with this check, taking this king out of a safety spot. Now white cannot really go back, f3 is hanging, they will get mated. And after king takes, queen f3 check. What happens here? For a price of a piece after king h4, white king is at the middle of the board around black pieces. There could be many interesting ways how to play here. The idea of bishop e7 check is also doable. There is bishop g5 defense, there could be so many moves. Let's say take. If queen takes, go, mm, always this mouse isn't working as I want to. Queen takes, going h6, trying to go g5 in some occasions, this is doable, but there could be a queen g3 move covering the third rank, and now g5 isn't mating, white king will be on time to escape. In order to distract this queen from the diagonal or the bishop, even here finds another move, just impressive one. Knight takes d4. Capturing the pawn, threatening knight f5 checkmate. Let me mention knight e7 was also another option. So here knight f5 is coming. White okay, white is capturing, but now bishop e7 check is already winning immediately. There is no longer a queen on d2. Bishop g5, bishop takes, king takes, pawn h6 check. I enjoy playing this move on the mouse. Uh, here white resigned, 
The reason is simple. If king h4, pawn g5 is mating. Cool mating idea, mating pattern. If you would like to see some more mating patterns, by the way, there is a mating matador course which we have and showing a lot of interesting ideas how to crush opponent's king. These kind of things we need to know because in some occasions something like this can be a big surprise for our opponent's king. Once again, a short summary. At a quiet position like this, whenever we have some nice resources, it's a very common way of throwing opponent king out of safety. So knight g2... King takes bishop h3. Uh, price of a piece is not so much whenever opponent king is getting on h4 surrounded by our pieces. Hope you enjoyed this nice attack. Congratulations to Ivich winning this nice game. And I will see you next time. Stay safe and stay well. Bye bye.